Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET Identity Web APIs. In this video tutorial, now we will create the accounts controller. To create the accounts controller, right click on your controllers folder, add a controller and select Web API 2 controller that's empty and give it a name of accounts controller. Within the accounts controller, we are going to create three methods. One, to get all the users. Second, to get the users by ID. And third, to get the users by name. But before that, let's change this inheritance and let our accounts controller inherit from a base API controller. By doing this, my accounts controller will have access to the three methods that we created under base API controller. Now, let's create our method to get all users. Before we create the method to get all users, let's provide a route prefix to our accounts controller. I'll give it a route prefix of API forward slash accounts. Under the accounts controller, I am going to create a action method that's going to get me all users. So all the users that are registered within my application, this method will get me a list of all those users from my database. Within this method, I am going to return all the users from my database. So I'm going to return the OK response for my I HTTP action result. And within my OK response, I am going to say this dot my app user method from my base AP, API controller app user manager method. And then once the app user manager method is called, it will create the instance of my application user manager. And then I will have access to my users method, which will get me the users from my database in the form of collection. And then when I, I have all the users, I'm going to assign it to a list. Now within this list, I am going to run some link query. So all I'm doing is for each user that I get from my collection and that I have transferred to my list, I want to display that user's information using the model return method that I created under my models manager. As I had mentioned that once we get the response from Web API, we want to handle that response and display the information in a way that we can display it to our client and that's why we created this model return method that will get the response of the application user and then we will assign the properties to our model return properties so therefore once we get the response and once we have our users then for each user we are going to call the model factory dot create method and our create method under the models manager requires us to pass the application user so in this case each user so I will pass it to the create method and then it will assign properties of each user to the properties of my model factory and then it will return it and one last thing that we need to do to complete our get all users method is to provide a route for this method and let's create a route for this method and we'll name this route as users because it's going to return a list of all users so that's all for our get all users method for our accounts controller now let's go ahead and test this method let's run our application now we have our application 
loading in our browser now let's call our controller by using the route prefix that we supplied that's for slash api forward slash account now let's call our web api method using the route that we supplied for our web api method forward slash users now let's hit enter and web api returns with a response that gives us a list of all the users that are registered within our system as of now if we had created only one user that's the sample user that we created while creating our database and it is returning only with the response of one user so that means our web api is working fine connecting with our database and we are getting the response with the required output and if you didn't notice that the response that is returned is returned using the model factory class that we used using the same properties that's the date join the email the email confirmed and the first name id last name user level and username so this is uh, all for our api controller class now in the next video tutorial we will learn how we can get the users by supplying this specific id and get the users by supplying the specific username and thank you for watching